Ukrainians are not superheroes and face casualties on a daily basis. Today, I will show you unique videos of Russians destroying Ukrainian equipment. This is an American M777 howitzer. Next to it is a supply track and ammunition is laid out. The Ukrainians, realizing that the installation will be hit, scatter. The Russian UAV hits the exact target and destroys the howitzer. No one is injured. And this is the Stormer HVM SAM. The Russian reconnaissance drone has been observing the target for a long time. The second drone is already on its way to the target. The rare and valuable SAM has been destroyed. And this is the Polish AHS Crab self-propelled artillery unit. The UAV dives and hits the target. The hit causes fire and destroys the launcher. And this is a battery of Ukrainian S-300 SAMs. They are the backbone of the country's air defense. A kamikaze drone strike on the installations leads to a powerful explosion and the destruction of an adjacent installation. Everything that you saw earlier was the work of the Russian Zala Lancet UAV. At least 250 different pieces of equipment were destroyed by Russians using it. The Russians discovered the M777 howitzer. The Ukrainians tried to camouflage it, but it did not help. Such a drone strike on the exposed assemblies and units of the howitzer is highly likely to destroy it. At best, some of it can be used for spare parts. The camouflage did not help in this case either. The Ukrainians were too late to start hiding the gun. A lancet hit the howitzer. The Russians found a rare 2S19 Emsta S SPH and sent a lancet UAV. These self-propelled artillery units are valuable because of their 152mm caliber. A Russian drone detected the installation's location and relayed the coordinates to a Zala Lancet crew. The ordnance was dispatched and hit the SPH. A Russian reconnaissance drone detects an M777 howitzer. Ukrainians cover the howitzer with a camouflage net after several shots. The Russians launch a Lancet on the coordinates of the howitzer. After such a hit, the howitzer is destroyed. Often, on the final trajectory, the Lancet UAV maneuvers sharply. Pay attention to this point. The range of such a warhead drone is about 70 kilometers. The Russians are actively using it for counter-battery warfare. This is a Swedish-made RM-70 MLRS. The drone hits the ammunition compartment, resulting in a severe detonation. And this is a Ukrainian 2S1 Gvozdika SPH. The Ukrainians begin to weld grids on them to protect them from lancets and attack drones. In this video, two lancets got stuck in such a grid. And in this case, the lancet had no problem destroying the Ukrainian SPH. This is the destroyed Gvozdika SPH. We can see that the anti-drone net did not help her. Lancets are launched with a metal rail. The rail can be mounted on machinery, on the ground, and even on a ship. A drone detects an AFU self-propelled artillery unit. Lancet follows to the set target. After such a hit, the vehicle is probably destroyed. And this is the destruction of the Grad MLRS. There was no detonation after the Lancet hit. Perhaps there was no ammunition in the launcher. There are Ukrainians standing and watching the installation. It is dangerous to approach. The fire destroyed the vehicle. Russian reconnaissance in the forests of Kremena discovered a Ukrainian howitzer. Its silhouette resembles the M777. The Russians launch the Lancet. An accurate hit destroys the howitzer and causes a large fire with the detonation of the ammunition. The Ukrainians hid the M777 howitzer between two embankments, but that did not stop the Lancet from hitting its target. The howitzer's crew managed to disperse before the drone strike. None of the Ukrainians were injured, but the howitzer was destroyed. Another howitzer with anti-drone screens. Will they help in this case? Unfortunately, no. This was probably an M109 Paladin self-propelled artillery unit. The Russians spotted it, tracked it down, and when the SPH stopped, launched a Lancet UAV at it. And this is another Ukrainian SPH very similar to the M109 destroyed by the Russian UAV. The Russians are increasingly using lancets. Their effectiveness is increasing, 
and you can judge for yourself after this video. These are the positions of Ukrainian artillerymen. The M777 howitzer is firing at the Russians. The Russians send in a UAV to combat it. The result is the loss of a good howitzer, which is in short supply with the AFU. This is how the Russians destroyed a Polish 155mm AHS Crab SPH and a nearby ammunition truck. The Ukrainians tried to hide the SPH under a camouflage net, but failed. The Russians discovered the installation and sent the Lancet. Lancets are not only used for counter-battery warfare. The Russians are actively destroying Ukraine's air defense system. The Russian drone detects the Tor M1 SAM of Ukraine. The Ukrainians decide to move the installation, but the Lancet is already programmed and flies into the target. This video highlights another feature of the UAV. It is capable of working on fast-moving objects. And this is a British Stormer HVM SAM, of which Ukraine has few. The Russians discovered one of the immobilized units. What happened and why didn't it destroy the drone on approach? A precise hit on the SAM must have taken it out of action. And this is the Gepard SAM. Ukraine has 34 of these. A Lancet easily hits a very rare and valuable complex. Probably this moment, the unit was not working, otherwise it would have easily destroyed such a target. And what happened here is a mystery to me in general. This is a working Buck SAM. The machine did not detect the reconnaissance drone and the Lancet UAV. When the complex began to retreat, it was caught up by the Russian drone. Another Buck M1 complex. The Russians discovered the installation and sent the Lancet. When the munition hit the target, the missiles on the launcher caught fire. The SAM was destroyed. And this Ukrainian OSA SAM stopped on the road. The Russians detected it and launched the Lancet. The drone hit the ammunition, which is why we see such a powerful explosion. In general, these SAMs are designed to combat low-sided and low-flying objects. But, as in the previous case, the Lancet destroyed the complex. A Russian reconnaissance drone detects two Ukrainian S-300 complexes. They are within range of the Lancets. The drone hits the first target and incapacitates it. Now, the second installation. A precise hit on the missile pods leads to a powerful explosion. One vehicle is definitely destroyed, but the second one is badly damaged. Next, the Russian drone notices the movement of two more complexes. The Ukrainians stop and run away. Such a car can't hide from the drone. An accurate hit takes out another complex. Russian reconnaissance detects a deployed S-300 launcher. The Lancet hits the missile pods directly. The Ukrainians decide to quickly relocate the second S-300 launcher. But there is no better shelter than this in the vicinity. These mounds were no barrier to the drone. The second installation was destroyed. In order to blind the Ukrainian air defense systems in certain sectors, the Russians are striking at radar facilities. This is a Ukrainian radar. At the last moment, the drone goes a little to the left of the radar itself and explodes. Why this happened is not clear to me. Probably it is more profitable to damage the electronics than the radar itself. This is the S-300 SAM radar. The Lancet hits the radar. This sector is now temporarily blinded. And this is a rare Ukrainian Bukovel electronic warfare system. It is supposed to counteract Russian drones. A precise hit on sensitive electronics makes the system unusable. Lancets are also used to destroy Ukrainian tanks. Amazingly, a 3 kilogram ammunition charge can penetrate armor and destroy heavy armored vehicles. And in this video, the victim of the Lancet is the Ukrainian BMP-2. As you can see, the Russians are learning a lot, which is why our help and support for Ukraine should not stop. Russia is demonstrating all of the hallmarks of a fascist state, and you all know what that led to last time. Don't forget what and who we are fighting for. If you liked today's issue and would like me to continue doing such issues further, then let me know by pressing that like button.